During the early months of 1940, the number of Western Allies taken prisoner was very small. But after the invasion of the Low Countries and France in May and June, German armies began to take Western prisoners in much greater numbers. By November 1940, thousands of French, Dutch and Belgian troops were being held behind barbed wire along with 44,000 British POWs. They were force-marched on starvation rations into Germany, Austria and Poland. On arriving in Germany, the new prisoners were sent to dulags or transit camps. There was one for the army at Limburg called Stalag 12A, and there was another one for the air force at Oberösel called Dulagluft. As well as being a transit camp, it was also to be Germany's most important interrogation center for RAF prisoners. Once processed, they were sent to a number of permanent camps set up in Germany. By now, Germany had reopened camps which had existed in the First World War. The biggest was Stalag 8B in Lambsdorff. It was to this camp that most NCOs and other ranks were sent. The camp housed thousands of prisoners of different nationalities, all segregated in different compounds. The only chance these men had to meet was when the camp held what was known as a red letter day, when the guards would open the gates of each of the inner compounds and allow the men to mix freely. At dusk, they were sent back to their compounds and the gates were locked again. The other occasion when they could mix was on working parties. Lambsdorff was a massive base camp for many Arbeitslagers, or workers' camps, which were spread throughout Germany. 